Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching JavaScript for Beginners Lesson 41 and in this video we're going to look at the window onload event. Alright then guys, so in the last lesson you saw me do something a little bit like this where we had a show more button which when clicked expands this content and then we can click it again to zoom that back up. Now I want to change one thing in this HTML which is going to have a drastic impact on this functionality and that one thing is to take this script which is currently at the bottom and pop it in the head. Now I've always said pop your scripts at the bottom and the reason is because when your HTML loads, it loads in order from top to bottom and you want to make sure that everything in your HTML is loaded before your script is loaded because your script may go into your HTML and try and find elements. All right, so let's save this now it's in the head and refresh over here. You see now it's not working and the reason is as this HTML is loaded, it finds the script, jumps into that and then right here we're saying document, get element by ID, content. And that isn't there yet, it's not been loaded because in the HTML we're only up to here and the content div is right here. So that's why I always say put these down here, but in some cases that's not possible and in other cases um, you just like to pop your scripts in the head, I don't know. Even sometimes though, when you have this right down at the bottom, uh, by the time it gets here, Sometimes your HTML could still be loading as it loads down more resources when you get larger HTML files. All right, so what I'm going to do is show you how to overcome this by introducing the window.onload event. All right, so let's jump into the test.js and let's say window.onload and we'll set that equal to a function like that. And that there, my friends, is saying grab the window object in JavaScript and the window object just represents this browser window. And we're saying when that window has fully loaded, so when all HTML tags have been loaded in, then fire this function. But until then, do nothing. All right. So it's going to fire everything within this function after everything in the HTML has loaded. So what we could do if we wanted to is grab all this and we could copy and paste it into there. Save that, refresh over here, and this should work. Yeah, it does. But this is not the way I like to work. I think this is a bit untidy, uh, and if you have many things firing on the onload event, then you're gonna have different scripts down here. I like to keep things organized, so I'm gonna take that back out again, and paste it up here. And what I'm gonna do is create a new function, and I'm gonna call this um, set up events and this function's primary for, uh, purpose is to set up all the events that I have on this web page right and right here we're setting up these events on the button and the content well just the button but we're going after the content after the window has loaded right so we'll grab all that and we'll paste it in here just like that, so that when this function is called, then it will go out and grab those elements and then set up this event on the button. Now we don't want any of that to happen until the window has fully loaded. So what we do is we come down here to this function when the window has loaded and we call this function that we've created at the top, set up events. That's all I'm doing, I'm just calling this function after the window has fully loaded and then it's going to set up all our events for us which is this one on the button right here okay so that's the way i kind of like to organize things when i'm setting up events in javascript so i'll save that refresh over here and now it still works and everything's nice and organized in our document Okay, so that is the window.onload events, guys. Um, we use it to make sure that we don't fire any JavaScript until the window has fully loaded. You don't have to use it for every single bit of JavaScript that you write, only when you write JavaScript that depends on all the elements being loaded in like this. All right, so there we go, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, if you enjoy these videos, don't forget to share, subscribe, and like, and I'll see you guys in the next one.